What are you on Zoom Strike? Mm, no. He's been a father, I think. No, I've been watching TV. That's the problem. <laughs> I've been binge watching fucking Chernobyl on HBO. Dude, I told you, Mike. It's awesome. Yeah. For, How dude, many episodes are there? There's five. Five. Oh, so dude. I'm on. The, I got one more then. I watched Chernobyl this week. The whole thing. It's the most frightening television show I've ever watched in my life. I think. Yeah. And then I watched last night at like 9 p.m. I realized that Black Mirror had a season out. Yep. And I watched. There's only three episodes though. The first episode. All I gotta say is Mark. You would definitely relate to what happens. It's your, it's up your alley. For me, it was extremely uncomfortable to watch, but it was wonderful. But it was just uncomfortable. But that's what Black Mirror is. Black Mirror makes you uncomfortable sometimes. Yeah, I'm probably gonna watch that next. Yep. Oh, the Jeets is in chat. All I gotta say, Mike, is if you watch it, I just want to ask: Do you want a game with me? That's all I want to say. You'll know in the Uh-oh. future. Here we go. We could do we could do a three player game, me, you, and Mike. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, ignition. This is the pre ignition. Oh, pre ignition. My bad. Yeah. It's like pre ejaculation. Uh, we all know what that feels like. Yep, Mark pre-ejaculation. knows actually. Ejaculation. <laughs> Mark Mark ejaculate, ejaculates as his body's building it up inside. He doesn't even have to finish. It just oh. leaks out. I wish it was that easy. Anybody in chat watch uh, Black Mirror yet? I guess we did watch it, apparently, from what Angela said. You didn't watch the new season, though. It just came out yesterday, I think, right? Oh, okay, then we did. No? All right, let's do the uh, 20-minute intro. Give you guys some time to think. 20-minute intro! Begins now. Begins now. Oh, we got Sugar Babe in chat. Ignition. Yeah. We are live. Live, 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 live. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Vape Team, the motherfucking great team. Cloudy Entertainment for that ass. I can't believe Mark is not sitting in front of his camera when I introduce him. Well, his ass was in the. It was. It was us. So, yeah. 207 for that ass. I was going through my phone, uh, Mark. Mm-hmm. Trying to come up with uh, thumbnails and pictures for the show. And I probably have, what, 35,000 photos on my phone and probably 20,000 of them are of Mark doing uncomfortable things with himself. And um, there was a picture of your ass and it was it was spread open and it looked so irritated. Oh, my God. Why did you have that photo? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where it came from, but I couldn't even use it. Oh, in a thumbnail God. because there was balls in it. Oh my! God. <laughs> it was. Uh, I just. I was so disturbed, and uh, Amy had just made chicken, oh. and I couldn't even eat, and I could oh, just. The disturbing part is that you have this picture in your phone. I don't know where it came from. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was I know like where it came from. It came from uh, Vaping with Vic's show. Is that like, what it is? Yeah, and I spread my butt cheeks, and I think you snapped a photo of it. But it was like days. HD, like you set it up and sent it to me. You know what I mean? Uh, like, no. take a look at this snack. You know what I mean? I don't know. Anyway, with me as always, our special guest, Mark Bulk Hogan Fagan. Da, da, da. Welcome back, Mark. Thanks, thanks for being for our guest. Show, guys. Yeah, <laughs> th- thanks for joining us. <laughs> and... The gentleman that really, he needs an introduction now because everyone expects it. It's the highlight of the show. The man with the master plan, the king of clouds, Mount Olympus, Mr. Matchy Matchy, the matchstick man, the iron lung, the Greek god of modern vaping, the cloud king, Mikey motherfucking vapes. Como esta bien? Muy bien, gracias, usted. Whoa. 
Thank you very much. Oh, Batman's kind of forgot. Oh, Batman's going to be in and in and out tonight. Yeah, he's going to be in and out, and he just wants to say hello. All the ladies out there, just want to let you know, Batman's going to be in and out tonight. Here we go. <laughs> ah, yeah. So uh, I think I think we're going to start off the show as we always do. We're getting a little off track, a little earlier than usual. Let's do a little bit of this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's all you can date buffet time. Take it away, Mark. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We ain't got no fucking donations. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, we got the Minikin 3, the Smoant, whatever it's called, and the Inikin Proton BTFC Recurve Duel. And before anyone donates, we got some of the Hooch Banana. We got some of this shit right here. And we got Paradigm 12 milligram Nilakilla in the pod. That's it. Brian, take it away. Dude, what the fuck was that? I yeah. did that before anyone fucking drops any donations. It cut me off. All right. From now on, if they drop donations, we're going to extend your buffet even longer. <laughs> that, That's that what we're going to do. That was fucking quick to the point. All right. So we're going to do e-liquid first before we start this off tonight. We're going to do a little Hit That Donut Boston Cream. I love it. Chest Hair Millionaire, $2. Stand up mark for science. Too slow. Too there you go. fucking slow. Chest Hair, by the way, for a, a, a direct deposit into my checking account. I could send you that inappropriate picture that I have of Mark, and I could put you in the picture if you want. So, yeah. there you go. Oh, there's a rogue fucking fly. I hate that. Did it come from a bottle of juice? No, Mark, it didn't. Oh, I'm just making sure. No, it's just a fly. Relax. I know, but it's so annoying. They. Oh, okay. I think he's, he's terrified. Anyway, hit that juice. Uh, billet box. How about that? I'm, I'm jumping on billet box dick tonight. Yeah. Is that juice on there, Mike? Looks like it. Dude, look at this drip tip. Signature tips. Nothing like it. Speaking mm -hmm. of signature tips, how about those fucking carbon panels? Oh, they're sexy. Mm. Not only are they sexy, but I've actually heard Shake put it to the SQ, and the, the satisfying snap when they mm. fall into place, they fit perfect. They fit perfect! I can't wait for those. So, yeah. Got that. Uh, what else I got? I got a little bit of this Nom Nom Mango Sticky Rice action this evening. There we go. Mango Sticky Rice. I also have some Honey O's. I actually really fucking enjoy the Mama's Honey O's. It's right up my fucking alley. And uh, Honey O's, Mama. It's like a... It's like a... Honey O's. Cheerios. It's like a Honey Nut Cheerios. Like Honey O's? Yeah. yeah. I know. Thank you. I'm just I'm trying to fill in the blanks for the people like Mark that just maybe a step by. Do you know what I mean? Uh, how's the sweet lung doing, Mark? That oh, sweet lung is actually cured up nicely since I've eliminated uh, certain things in my thinking life. Yeah, uh, you see, I told you. You know, he doesn't even want to say what he eliminated. What did he eliminate? Been, I think I've been vaping too much. That's the problem. I've yeah. been vaping way too much. Well, I've been vaping a lot. Check out this shit. By the way, hit that juice right now. This very second, hitthatjuice.com. They have topside dual carbons uh, in stock for that cock. Yep. All the colors. And if you want to match it up perfectly, you can get one of these titanium profiles. Look at that shit. Mm. Or if you want something also sexy, you could go for something like this action and get the recurve dual with the uh, original. No, it does grandfather. not come with that. Ugly ass. <laughs> you, get, you can get that. Or maybe you're in the market for a little bit of Aegist legend with a little bit of bulk. <laughs> Speaking of bulk, I'd like to, Mark, I'd like what? to say happy traditional Chinese holiday because that's tomorrow, right? Oh, yeah, it is. Are you taking off from uh, working for Omir tomorrow? or No, but Omir's taking off. They feel like they don't have to do anything since it's a holiday. Okay. Is Marcus sleeping on the couch now that those boxes are in his room, or what's yes. going on with that? We turned his room into a shipping room. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right, Mike, take it away. Time is yours. All right. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello, chat. Sid. Uh, Greg. Oh, Greg is in chat still. Nice. Good evening, Greg. Vaping Good. on uh, Recurve Duel. And I got this new new from UL called the Grim Reaper. Sweet. Soul Keeper, my bad. The Soul Keeper. This one here is pretty cool. It's got a uh, fluorescence. Glow in the dark shits. So when the light hits it, it starts glowing in the dark. The cutouts. Can you kill That's the light? 
and see if it glows in the dark or no. Actually, what I've been doing because it's dark down here, it's not getting a lot of light. I just I grab the flashlight and th just do this. Oh, and that bit. charges it up. Yes. So by me doing this, I think Mark has a prostate massager that does that. Good night. You get to see it. Yep. <laughs> Mark's belly has a uh, it glows. What he uses. Hell yeah. <laughs> but uh, awesome, awesome, awesome mod from UL. They did a good job with this one. Vaping on that, also vaping on the new Valerian uh, V2 tank with the Valerian Triple 18 650 mod. Inside there, we have uh, Dinner Lady macaroons. And then the, the recurve, I have this uh, apple pie stuff windowsill. What else are you vaping on, Mike? This mod from UL, I think it's called the Gem, Gen, Gin, something like that, or J James, I'm not sure, from Vaporesso. Got a Rebirth RTA on top. Some strawberry crunch in there. What else, Mike? What else are you vaping on? That, that, that. Pasito. Little Pasito. Got the RBA base in there. We have some Nilla Killa 12 milligram inside that. Also vaping on another pod system called the Fizz, Fizz, Finesse, Vega. This is like a sub brand of UL. Little tiny pod right here. Vaping on that. Got some acai berry inside there. And uh, that's it. I think that's what I'm vaping on. I have a carbon here too. With the mutant. Got the blue. Yeah, buddy. Speaking of carbon, Stephen Garlington just gave us a donation. Stefan, as Mark would say, $4.99. He said, my carbons are on the way. That hit that juice site sure has some fast shipping. Oh, yeah. They've been shipped, baby. How did you read that donation? We're not live. Mark, you might not be live because you're out in outer space all the time, but we are actually here right now. This is a pre-recorded episode. Hey, Big Lou is in chat. Lou. Big Lou. Lou. I saw Lou put up a, a review today for mm. what was it? Lou's been putting up videos. He's back. Lou, Big Lou is back, baby. He's back, man. Big Lou is back. Keep singing. Dancing while you're singing. Big Lou is back. Give it up for Big Lou. <laughs> she don't want me fucking singing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I look like I have a fucking um, a Krispy Kreme donut glaze on my face again. I don't know what's going on. You're that makeup you bought? I don't know. I, yeah. I think it's from uh, pre-show fapping before the show starts. No, you wear makeup. This. I do. I'm not wearing makeup tonight. I'm really not. Mike is. I saw Mike applying it before yeah, the show I have, started. I have tons. I got my lipstick eyeliner on everything. Dude, we should do a makeup segment on this show. We should. We should do our own show, makeup oh, show. Oh, 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 hold on. Speaking of segments, we don't want to do makeup segments next week because the segment we're going to have on the show next week, Oh no! I think we're fucked. We I really do. See, the problem is we had the Marmite Challenge, right? Oh, no, no. And that got everybody excited. So the whole community on the Vape Team Facebook group got excited, and they want to torture the shit out of us. All I got to say is we got. <laughs> if it, I, dude, if it's hot, I'm not touching it. You're touching it. You're, you're going to do it for the show, Mark. Nope. I'm, the... I'll have Angela do it. I'm allergic <laughs> to uh, anything hot. If you remember Catfish Cooley. No. Uh -uh, do you... <laughs> do... No, way. no way. Do you remember the fucking Toe of Satan video? Dude, if I eat. Like nachos, my butthole burns. You gotta be fucking crazy. <laughs> we were, no, no, we're gonna do the video. We're gonna have people that are watching the show. If they want to buy these, then the next seven days they can do the challenge with us and record themselves, and we'll pick the best one and we'll get, do a giveaway for it, perhaps, and then we'll show it on the next week of the show. We're gonna have um, there's all kinds of shit planned over this, but you gotta be crazy. You are gonna that. put this shit in your mouth and Dude. take it. No way is my ass going to burn for fucking... For people that don't know what this is, and I'm going to give shout-outs next week of who sent this to us, and we want to say Whoever thank you. Whoever sent that, you can go fucking fuck yourself. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> so this is... The Toe of Satan has been spawned from a devastating 9 million Scoville unit chili extract, uh, extract, guaranteed to scorch any mortal's tongue. Can you survive five whole minutes of intense heat? Dude, I'll shit blood. Uh, that's Man. the whole plan. So we're going to have you... We're going to record us doing it live, and then you're going to record yourself, or Angela will record you dealing with it the following day. 
You're going to suck that toe, Mark. Yeah, I'll suck a toe before I eat one of those. I can't. Seriously, I can't even do those. I can't even taste it. I take fucking. I take peps or whatever I take. Yeah, I have problems with. Uh, oh, Harper. so now everybody gets sensitive. I taste like. I take like ulcer medication. Yeah. Well, the fun police just showed up and they're taking well, the show. The thing is that you could actually try it out. And we got wives. Ange I'll get Angela. Angela! Angela! Get in here. You're going to do something next week. I'll go get a homeless dude from the corner bring him here. Maybe I'll have Steve. Steve, you want to? Steve, is... <laughs> Steve ran away. He's like, nope. Mark, what's the worst that can happen? You'll shit a little blood, maybe a little fire. You know the pain I would be in? I mean, it's not even like pain. That would do you know be how much pain dying. you put people in some weeks on this show? I would cry on the toilet. Yes. I just got a new toilet. And we need to vlog that. Oh, what are you going to do a, a yeah. toilet? <laughs> what do you call a video? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, the toilet, man. Speaking of toilets, I am going to Mark's, <laughs> Mark's trailer for the 4th of July. Amy and I have plane tickets. I'm doing a trailer park vacation. And oh, boy. I'm going to be shitting reverse cowboy on his toilet. So I'm going to be testing out that toilet, Mark. All I'm saying is if you ever thought the toilets that had the button on the top are cool, don't buy them because shitty finger can get in there and you'll be fucking touching shit every day of your life. I'm afraid to put my finger in the button so I get shit on it. Yep. Well, maybe meth Mike could do it. It's true. Yeah, meth Mike could do it. Mark, you or Mike, you ate the Marmite like it was fucking nothing. Yeah, but that's not. Uh, the, I can't do the hot stuff like that. I could do hot stuff, but not like that. I've done it before, and it's not. It's not good for me. Uh, Zachary Hager, five dollars. If Mark loses, he should put the Satan toe up his butt. <laughs> it's gonna feel like Satan toe is coming out your butt the next day. I can tell you that. So, what, you're, are, are you being honest, Mark, saying that you're really I, not gonna I do have it? A... Uh, they want to do the hot chip challenge. There ain't no way I can do that. So you're gonna to have to do it next week. That's not even a chip. Sucker. Okay, you're gonna do the hot sucker challenge next week. All you gotta do is put on your tongue. You're gonna to have to do you it next week. You don't have to eat it. You just have to suck on it. No, you you're gonna sucking. Eat it. Happen. Suck on it. You're gonna do it next week. So be ready. You're doing it. No, I'm not. There you go. I got it. I also, I also have acid reflux. Yep, acid reflux. It's like, right? Tell them. There you go. Acid reflux. All right. You know what? I'm changing this show to not another vape show too, because we're not going to have agendas anymore. We're not going to plan events. Forget it. Angela's, Angela's going to sit in for me. Now everybody has medical problems. We're going to have fucking torture devices down here. <laughs> That's the I'll whole do, point. <laughs> I'll do nipple torture or something like that, but I'm not eating. Those okay. Things. Will you use a studded prostate massager? Dipped yeah, in fine. dipped in battery acid? No, 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 no. No battery acid, but we'll do the studded uh Look, I'll I'll do anything, man. Are we doing a competition? Because I know I'm gonna win. So I won't have to do it, so I'm down. <laughs> well the competition is who can keep it in their mouth for five minutes. Oh shit. Oh well, no. I can do that. Everybody yeah, loses then. Yeah, I'll put my my mouth in my mouth for half a second and spit it out. That, that's your choice. There has no. to be a good prize, though, for the person that makes it five minutes because I know it's going to be super painful. I've watched videos, and this shit is like, I think they said like 300 times hotter, or no, was it 30 times hotter than a Carolina Reaper pepper? Like super fucking hot, like really what's hot. The, what's the point? I don't get it. I don't mind doing nasty shit or, or I don't mind doing nasty stuff, but when it involves pain, I'm not a pain person. Uh, like pain. <clears throat> it looks like Alex Davila, two dollars. Who are the two young ladies with you tonight, Brian? <laughs> Whoa! There we go. And uh, John Trincali, five dollars. He said, "Brian, I think you guys should do a weight loss challenge. Seems Whoa. like all of you have put on some weight." Damn. Hey, as long as it's for money, we could do that. I'm down. I'm down. Dude, this is not about you, but this is actually not fat. I know for, <laughs> it's, I know it's for muscle. a fact, Mike, uh, Mike, Mark will lose. Yes, I would lose. Not lose weight. You'll lose the competition. <laughs> uh, how about a competition? How many suckers can Brian fit in his mouth? I have a tiny mouth. There's no way. Mm -hmm. All right, Mark. I'll make you. A, I'll do. I'll do this for you. I'll give you a topside carbon if you can hold it in your mouth for five minutes. I'll just fucking buy one. Uh, okay then. 
Let's I'd rather spend $100 and hit, not do it. 115 Hit that juice.com has them in stock right now. Mike, send him a link. You fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> no. They're already packed up upstairs. Amy has the boxes. They arrived. So they're, you should have them by what? Next month? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to actually, I'm going to put them on the same time frame plan as you do with the bags of shit on your channel. There you go. Speaking of that, one of your one of your people contacted me and said they want a bag of shit. They're wondering where it is. Uh, well, I, I don't know. All bags of shit are out. I rather no, I wouldn't rather suck a dick for five. <laughs> yeah, you would. If I was in a situation where someone like had a gun to my head and they say either suck this or suck that, I would rather suck that than suck the sucker. That's how terrified I am of hot shit. Yeah. Uh, yep, the spammers are here. They usually on Mark's show. Mark's, you, Mark, you brought them here too now. Yes. The porn spammers. Nice. Yeah. The spammers mean that your channel is actually influential enough that they're going to get people to watch, and they understand our target audience. We watch porn. You watch porn. It's a porn show. Mm-hmm. There you go. How about an update on the uh, your cheesy foot, Brian? Okay. So right now, I have a brand new pair of flops upstairs that Amy picked up for me. Uh, they are Crocs, so I'm like, I don't know what's going on with that. I'm not a Croc guy, but she picked up Crocs. Is this someone wearing Crocs? They're Whoa. Crocs. Wow. But they're the Crocs that have those like uh, pleasure-ribbed bottoms for massaging the soles of your feet. Oh, Lord. And I, I put my feet in them, and they fucking hurt. Like, I must have like t- like sensitive bitch feet, but like who wants little nodules sticking up on the bottom of your feet when you're walking around? I would love that. Would you? Mm-hmm. Like little Kevin fingers? Keep in mind, I don't walk much. I'm usually sitting in my chair. Yeah, not much pressure on them. So this Ellis Morris guy, he's going hard. Yeah, he's going hard in the paint. That's a different person. They're all different yeah. names. Yep. Oh, shit, they are. Yep, they're all different names. They're just all getting oh, you know, banned one at a time. Amy you know, Relish, Mike, and Greg are doing a killer job out there, though. It's like shooting practice. You have the links enabled in settings. Do I? Yeah, so they could... Anybody can post links if they want. Did you ever think that maybe I got paid from these companies to allow them to do it? I wouldn't doubt it. Yep. <laughs> uh, Chester Millionaire, I think the toe of Satan of Satan loser should take a kick to the sack from their wives. I think the toe of Satan loser. What? There you go. I think the toe of Satan loser. You son of a bitch. I don't understand what he's saying. So don't read it. It was a donation. I have to read it. Oh, let someone that can actually read, read it. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you got new flip flops? Yeah, I told you, I, but I, I don't like them. After he tried washing his other ones. Yeah, I tried to wash them because the one smelled like cheese. I told you that. And then I have these flops, but I just... Yeah, it looks like hemp or something, doesn't it? That's all cheese. Why is it all fucking dark in the, on the foot part? Man? Because it's, it's it's leather. <sighs> it's leather, dude. Dude, mm. Mark, your underpants have holes in them and shit on them. What are you talking yeah, but about? They're, it's, they're clean holes, like they're not. They're brown holes, and they're not fresh shit stains. They're just stains. No, they're shit stains from five days ago that you've been wearing the underpants ever since. There we go. We got a donation from J. Cole just because. Thank Aww. you, guys. Thank you, J. Cole. Nothing but love to you. Yep. So what do we think about uh, glow-in-the-dark mods? Are we down with that shit as a team, or are we are we get, uh, not big fans? I'm down with it. You're down with it? Hell yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. You got LED plus, lights. Why not? Plus that, yeah, plus that on, it's not the only mod. They make solid. I got the solid white one and the solid black. Yep. Do you vape they in bed? This one, yeah, this one looks pretty cool. Do, I you mean, vape, do you vape bed, Mike? Say it again? Do you vape in bed? No. Mark? Uh, yes. So I, I reach for my nightstand all the time, and my CPAP is there, and I try to like move my hand around in the dark to find whatever mod I'm using, and all the time I knock it off the table. I think having a glow-in-the-dark mod sitting on the nightstand would be a good thing. I'd be able to see it in the dark. The only thing is that it's not going to last long in the dark. Why not? What if you're a raver and you go out to a rave? It last that long. Like, like I put the flashlight onto this, and I don't think it's still glowing. No, 
very, very slight. Actually, yeah, it probably would work. Yeah, if you put it, it out. A, use it as a glow stick when you're dancing. Uh. Andrew, Mike, it, it, go ahead, Mike. Uh, someone asked if it's fully mechanical. No. No. There's a chip inside here. But uh, just to show you guys something here. There's Vindicator. They're both 21700s. There's the Vindicator side by side with it. You can see that the UL is just a little bit taller. And this has a chip here or here. I'm not sure where they put the chip on here, but it also has the light flashing. That's a battery indicator light that they put in there too. But the way they designed it for putting in a an 18650, a 2700, or a 21700. There's no sleeves with this. Mm. It's cool the way they made this mech, the way they designed it. Fucking impressed. Tyler Rose. I'm, for... calling it a, I'm sorry, I'm calling <clears> it a <throat> mech. It's not a mech. Anyway. Tyler Rose, 499. Here's to Brian and Mike. Cheers, guys. Mark, you're all right too, I guess. He was saying you're all right. Thank you. I'll show you all right when I'm. Pumping three inches in your mouth. And it does 110 watt maximum. So, depending on your build. Mike, can you hold it up next to a regular mech that you have? Maybe like a Keen or... I just did that. just did that. <laughs> oh. I, I go... Fun. Dude, I zone the fuck out so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when I read chat at the same you, time. Hey, you need to watch the replay to see yeah. that. Hold on. Let me, let me rewind this real quick. Yeah. He yeah. did that like a second before you said that. It's hey, weird, right? It's like... Yeah. And you see him do like this. That's yeah. no, that's because we got the donation, and I was looking at it. I like, I don't want to forget. That's the only reason. All you gotta do is stop chat. I know, but then if another donation comes in when I stop chat, I might miss As it. As you scroll, and then you can there's see so many. Way. There's so you guys should see my screen. There's so many responsibilities and multiple things that I have to pay attention to. It's basically like a nuclear power plant from Chernobyl, and I'm trying to control the entri entire panel while these guys just stand around and drink Poland Spring. Here we go. No, oh, when I like you, we, we're drinking the cheap stuff. What are you drinking? The twenty dollar fucking can of water? No, this is Dasani sparkling. Yeah, look what ah. we're drinking. Dude, I couldn't afford that stuff. Dude, I gotta get the cheap plastic the, bottle of water shit. The big problem with this shit is, and this is something you don't see, right? So you think it's like you know zero calorie sparkling water. The biggest issue is sometimes they sneak you with this shit. Look at this. Sodium. Look, yep. Yep. Two percent sodium. Look at that shit. You drink these all day, you're going to be dehydrated and fucking retaining water. You keep drinking more and more. So, Amy, we can't get these anymore. Yep. Yeah, stick to the uh, whatever it's called. He the wants the Pellegrino. He wants there the more expensive go. one. There you go. Uh, this is the shit I love. I love the Pellegrino, man. Yeah, it's just like $60 for a case of water. Mm hmm. This son of a bitch is drinking $60 cases of water while there's people out there who can't even afford <laughs> an atomizer to vape on. <laughs> Quitter said, as if Fagan knows what Chernobyl is. That's so true. It's true. I watched the show. Thank you. I know what it is. Oh, you actually watched Chernobyl? Yep. Yeah, you watched it with Angela. It. He did. I will say that he did. Him and uh, Angela watched it. Yep. But before you watched the show, did you even know what Chernobyl was? Not a clue. <laughs> no, man, no clue. Nope. Sound like a Mexican entree or something. I'll take the Chernobyl with extra sauce. Thank you. I think I knew Chernobyl. Chernobyl happened in like, what, 1986? Yeah. So I was really young when it happened. But I remember Chernobyl from video games in the 90s. There was always video games about like Stalker was a game that came out and that happened in, or yeah. that took place in Chernobyl. And uh, there was always like mutant games that happened in Chernobyl. Did they have a Call of Duty? One of the. I think Call of, of Duty went. Call yep. of Duty was a Chernobyl. Yep. And also, there's like these video guys that that sneak in there and they cut the fences and they actually travel like with night vision and shit and they go to all the areas in Chernobyl and make videos behind the scenes. They're not even government. They're not assisted by anyone. They're just like kids. There's yeah. a good one on YouTube. It's like a Chernobyl documentary. It's like an hour and something long and they show all the people that have been affected in other towns, like all the kids that are dying of cancer and all yeah. the crazy, like depressing shit. Yep. The scariest thing at the end of the... Did you finish it, Mike, or no? No, I still got one more. Okay, well... Episode 5. Can I say something? It's not going to It's not like there's a big surprise. Like, everyone's fucked. Oh, go ahead. So, in the beginning of the show, there's, like, after the event happens... You're just going to ruin it for everyone else. Yep, good job, Brian. All right, I won't, I won't say it. All right. 
it, it's all a dream. It never happens. That's the ending. Chernobyl's in Chicago. Yes. Yes. All right. I won't. I don't want to ruin it. But if, if people have HBO, I recommend watching it. It's it's really disturbing, but it's it's crazy that it actually happened and it could happen again. So. Now, if they don't have HBO, will you give them your sign in? <coughs> watch it. If they don't have HBO, will I give them my sign in? Fuck yes. no. Whoa. All right. Thank you. Mm-mm. Will you give them yours? I don't even know mine, but yes. You will. I'm okay. actually using somebody's my HBO. Are you really? Uh, yep. Does anybody in chat actually have their own accounts for anything like Netflix, Hulu, HBO, or is it? Yeah. Well, you have my own Netflix. That's uh, the only one. I just I said to myself, I don't want to pay for HBO. Zachary Hager, five dollars. He uh, here's five more dollars for a tip flash from Mark. And I just wanted to ask Mike after that donation, Mark, uh, Mike, do you want to pay five dollars for uh, HBO? Nope. Okay, there we go. Good. <laughs> Why that's how much it costs? Five dollars? No. Whoa, whoa, areola and everything. Uh, Don't get me. I just got paid. <sighs> Never mind. Oh, ST just unhid them. Thanks, ST. Thank you, ST. Why are there men making donations to see my body? Because it's sexy. You look hot and bothered tonight, though. I'm I'm pretty horny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hold on a sec. Let me check something. Where the fuck did I put that? So are, are we saying honestly? I don't want to get people excited for next week. Are real? Are we not doing this? Um, what I, is that? Is I would prefer like, not to. Is, is it like a, like it's, a beef jerky? It's a lollipop. Is, seriously? Yes, it's a lollipop that you have to take out of the wrapper. It's shaped that, like it, Satan's toe. Is there yep. any sugar in there? Yes. I can't have it. I'm on a strict diet. No sugar allowed. Look at Mike blaming it on the sugar. Get out of here. Dude, I've eaten fucking tiramisu and cheesecake with you. I'm with John, baby. Okay. Weight loss challenge. That's what I'm saying. Mike's always in Zoom eating cheesecake. Like every no. day. <laughs> yeah, right. So you it, never see me eating cheesecake. Bro. Amy <laughs> says, I sort of believe Mike. Mark is definitely lying. I will show my bottle of medication. I'll, I'll go me. grab my medication, too. Oh, let's have a medication showcase, then, shall we? Hell yeah. <laughs> We should have a medication competition to see who has the most. How many pills do you take, Mark? Are they... I take one. Well, how many pills for that? I take four pills a day. No, no. How many brands? Not how many times. Oh, how many brands? Four. You, so you take four separate pills? How many times a day? All four. Once. Blood pressure, my crazy pill, iron, and then the crazy. acid reflux. <laughs> A crazy pill. <laughs> yep. Who didn't know that shit was in there in the buffet? Dude, we're, we're gonna do medication buffets every week in between the regular buffet. Seventy-five percent of the people in chat, I guarantee you, are taking some sort of fucking brain. Are you medication. taking that blue pill too? Oh, no, no not, yet. <clears throat> not yet. Black hat, white face, four ninety nine. Mark's emergency room fund. Eat the toe. So there you go. I'm not shitting blood. Uh, Amy said they're both full of shit. She saw them both eat junk in the UK. Oh, I'll eat junk food. I just won't eat hot junk. Food. Yeah, that was the UK. Ever since I've got back, I've been on a strict diet. Uh, all right. Well, I, I'm not going to push too hard. I mean, I'm going to continue pushing a little bit, but I can't make you guys do anything. Crazy pill. He's going to get his crazy pill right now. He takes his soul <clears> off. <throat> Nobody's surprised about the crazy pill comment at all. <laughs> yeah, yes, there is. In the chat, everybody's like crazy pill. Yeah. Here it is. It is called. What is it? <laughs> Alex uh, Davila says, I take my meds by bong. Oma Prelozol. Uh, SD puts all this shit in his blunts. That's for micro penis disease. Yeah, it's micro penis pills. That's what that is, Mark. What is that, Zoloff? No, this is for. Um... It's, it's called So Soft. <laughs> 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 By the way, those pops came from one of your fans, a dear fan, and one of Mike's Patreons, I'm pretty sure. I know that, and I said we're going <laughs> to give it... they're refusing? Yeah, wow. Mike, that was one of your Patreons, and that was a fan of the show. You can't not do it. Wow, Mike, you're going to do your Patreon like that? Woo-hoo! I have it, no clue who sent it, so I don't it, know what you're talking about. I'm going to say it, but Chester Millionaire, $2, don't let us down, Mark and Mike, we love y'all. 
I think a lot of people are going to be let down, even if you guys do have medical conditions and take multiple medications. I, all right. What if I all lick all them and rub my nipples? Me, I'll do it right now. What if what if Mark melts it down in the sink, puts it into a little uh, into a little uh, dripper bottle, and then shoots it into his penis? Or how about I drip it on my nipples or my penis? Oh. We're gonna put it in your penis. Yeah, I, I'll put it on it, not in it. Uh, Johnny Drips four ninety nine. He said he heard without Viagra, Mark has to sit to pee. <laughs> <clears throat> True. Yep. I like I love sitting when I pee. All right, so we got some questions from the agenda, and uh, David McCormick uh, has a question. He said, ask Brian if he will make another version of the drop, bigger, better, faster. Anything is possible, my friend. Anything is possible. Uh, June Vitali Shannon, what made everyone quit smoking? I think we've talked about this on the show before, but I think it was health concerns. Oh, hey, what happened? What made everybody quit smoking? We want to live a longer life. Yeah, medication is no longer working yeah. for asthma and shit like that. Yeah, I was starting to have a lot of like breathing issues at night, a lot of coughing, a lot of getting winded, walking upstairs. I couldn't do a lot of physical shit. Like Easy. for me, early on, like when I started going to the hospital and getting medication, the medicine would work great. So I really didn't give a shit. I just kept smoking because I always knew I had the medicine to fall back on. But as soon as the medicine stopped working... I'm like, oh shit, I gotta quit or something because this is getting bad. So, and there's also something like when you're doing something harmful to yourself, maybe maybe you could get away with it. But when you're doing something harmful and the person you love the most in the world is also doing something harmful to themselves, it's like you can only ignore it for so long. And regularly, I would have this feeling like I'd look at Amy smoking and I'd be like, you know what, twenty years is gonna fly by. And I'm going to look at her and she's going to get some sickness or I'm going to get some sickness from this. And it could have been avoided if we would have just taken control of it and stopped. And once vaping came into the picture, it was like, here's the here's the exit door. You know, you know, it's crazy, though. Some people, they can go their entire life smoking and not have nothing wrong with them. Like their bodies are built to. I've known people with smoke that they were like 15 and they're like 60 now and doing perfectly fine. Dude, I have patients that are in their 90s that stand outside my office and smoke. Yeah, it's weird. Like, But there's also patients that eat shit every day and they're fine. There's people – but if you look at percentages, you have a much greater chance of having – not only dying from it. Like you're not guaranteed to get emphysema or uh, some sort of a lung disease or lung cancer. But you're guaranteed to have a less quality of life as you get older if you continue smoking. And quality of life matters. I mean, do you want to get winded when you're going to have a catch with Marcus out back, Mark? Um, vaping doesn't really give you wind back, just so you know. But You don't notice an improved in your lung capacity when you quit I smoking? I do, but it's not like, I can run a football field now. Well, no, you actually have to exercise. Yeah, I know. That's the part of it. you got to exercise on top of that. But no, there is a big difference. Plus, you got to want to quit. If you don't want to quit, ain't nothing going to work for you. So, What if you want to get uh, transgender hormone therapy? Because Bob Ellis just donated $5 for Mark's transgender hormone therapy. Um, $5? going to need a little bit more for that. Yeah. I'll probably start with the penis. Have that uh, inverted. Dude, you know how tight my vagina would be if my small penis was inverted into a vagina? Yeah. I'd be a fucking hit on the block. Yep. All right, so another comment. Uh, Scott Madera said, if I send Brian Herb my topside dual carbon, would he sign it? Hell yeah, I'd sign it. Uh, Brandon Luffman said, what is the correct way to install coils on the drop solo over the top or from the bottom? Uh, the correct way to do it is either. You can install them vertically, horizontally. You can on top of each other, from underneath, from on the top, or whatever way you want, whatever works yeah, you for like you. you like top or bottom. I mean, yeah, what do you like? I am more of a top. You're a top guy. When it comes to women, yes. Do you like to be on the top or you like them on top? I, well, I like to be on top. Do you like to control it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you ever finish too soon and then you keep going just to prove something? No, usually what happens is I have the opportunity to finish, but I wait and then I fuck up and then I can't finish. How do you do that? You ever have that problem? What happens? Like... You have the opportunity to finish, but you're like, no, I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna wait this one out, and then you find out, oh shit, now I can't finish. Cause you've been fucking too long. Maybe it's just me. Next question. All right, next question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
what, what, what like what did you forget to like pump the pump up to get it big or what did you do i don't know sometimes it's easy sometimes it's not what is the best discrete setup for work anthony agostinelli I think Mike has two things that he's yep. been showing off tonight. A little tiny fucker. The hammer of God with yes. a 30 millimeter ass guard. <laughs> that is definitely just a perfect stealth vape for at work. <laughs> you don't want your job anymore. Now, if you want something small, uh, Caliburn. That's my favorite pod. If you want something very, very tiny, this thing is like tiny. Look at this. Dude, that reminds me of a USB thumb drive or whatever. As a matter of fact, there you go. There's a USB thumb drive next to it. Which one's which? Here exactly. Yes. Thumb drives were made to be appealing to kids. Yep. That's sure the most ridiculous thing. You uh, know what? No, we should have made them look like cigarettes so that they look exactly like the thing we're trying to stop kids from doing. Exactly. Fucking idiots. That's when you realize that you could do anything and they're always going to find an angle against what you're doing there is no solution to making them happy and making you know them say it's not appealing to kids this <laughs> you used to love them as a kid your mom could get that out of your mouth <laughs> she used to be like honey grab them the penis of fire like mark do you wear lipstick <laughs> on my dildo put it in his mouth and it'll shut him up <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, Joe White, Mike, you have to pick one. <laughs> Mike, you got to pick. There, there's no stopping here. Okay. This is gonna be good. This is this is a challenge. So if you don't want to do the toe challenge, you have to do this one. You either a toe challenge. Yeah, the uh, Satan's toe. I never said I wasn't gonna do it. Anyway, moving on. I thought it was sucking Brian's toe, my bad. No, so this is this is you have to do either A lick Mark's underwear. Oh god. Or, or B lick the cheesy flop. Oh my oh, god. god. <laughs> There's gotta be a C. <laughs> There's yeah. no C. You gotta pick one. I can't pick one. They, you have to. Which, my underwear, I will see my underwear clean. They're both horrible, but which one is less painful even though they're both excruciatingly difficult? If I had to, like, if there was, like, gun to my head. Yes. If I had to choose, it would have to be, fuck me. <laughs> it's so tough, because I smelled that fucking flop. Actually, actually, yeah, but his underwear. <laughs> you would get, a, you would get fungus I on your I, tongue. Actually, tell you the truth, it's, this is, like, a no-brainer. They're both disgusting, but I have to go for the flip-flop. <laughs> How the fuck would I... His underwear? Oh, God. Yeah, actually, not clean. Clean? No, no stains at all. Yep. Yeah. There you go, um, Joe Mac uh, Joe Machina, is it Machinia? Machinia. He said, "When will Mark stop being a special guest? Mark will stop being a special guest when he starts acting right." Whoa! Actually, whoa, whoa! Hold up! I'm changing it. I'm going to Mark's underwear. Thank you. What is That's, that? I would definitely lick Mark's underwear. Okay, what's the reasoning behind that? Because they're so clean. No, even if they're filthy, I would still lick his underwear. Only because right here on the side, it'll probably be fine to look at. <laughs> oh, I hope my little dinghy doesn't pop out. Let's, let's see. You never me. said front or back. Or <laughs> oh, my God. They look like a wind sail. The Mark, is that a shopping bag? Oh, look at Mark's face. Ugh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ugh. There's no shit stains. That's the ball area. Yeah, you figure there'd be a little stain. What do you what do you flip them around so you could shit out the hole in the back? They're a little damp, but Dude, your not... underwear's got pockets? Yeah, there's <laughs> the fuck? These are pretty fucking big. Holy Jesus Christ. But let's check out the ass. Like, Dude, right... looks like my fucking car cover. Dude, there's right, the ass is right there. Wow, look at that fucking look at that. It's a tablecloth. Wow, those are fucking big. What? There's no shit stain. Wow. I'm telling you, I don't have shit stain issues. You would think I would, as big as I am, but I try to remain fairly clean. Are you completely nude for the waist down right now? Yes. <laughs> I'm hoping nothing falls over. Is everyone enjoying this? or? Oh, my God. I think people are leaving. Have we lost people, Mike? 
Yes. <laughs> yeah, we have. Uh, thank you, Luca Butler, for that uh, <laughs> for the Asian girls video link. Thank you. These smell good. I'll call Angela in here and have her smell them. Dude, the Wrench Reviews is earning his money tonight. Let me just say that. Definitely. Uh, we have one more question. Uh, Don- this is from Donovan Nomeland, and he said, how many milliliters of juice do you vape on average in a day? So oh, I'm going to fucking vomit. I'm going to fucking vomit, Mike. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. I can't even watch this. For me, maybe like 20. How many milliliters were you vaping when you got the sweet lung? Oh, maybe 60. I can't, I can't do this. I don't know if that's sweat on your forehead from your sweat on your forehead or if it's sweat from your fucking shirt being squeezed out. Or Dude, from my your, stomach from right now is like turning. I'm just proving how clean my underwear are. That I could look- smell his underpants through Zoom. They smell great. Now his head has herpes. <laughs> you always were a shithead. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking shithead. Uh, I can't even read. All right, let's continue. On the agenda, follow Amy Relish on Instagram. There you go. Uh, Topside Carbons and Recurve Duels are available at hitthatjuice.com. If you need your bulk fixed, adjusted, or just want to talk about it, contact Mark, Fag- Mark Fagan at vapenfagan at gmail.com or 712-857-2000. I don't want to give the last two numbers or last four numbers. number is that? That ain't my number. Oh, it's not? No, please don't call me. to. I mean, please don't email me to talk. I don't want to give that number because I don't know whose number that is. Yeah, if you want to talk, email Brian. No, don't. Only, I'm not going to chat. Brian's a talker, not me. It's not going to happen. But I'm a deleter. <clears throat> um, birthdays. It's time for that again. We got birthdays. Today, today, this very second, there's a gentleman that watches this show. He's loved by the panel. He's loved by you guys out there in chat. Lance motherfucking Manka. Lance Micah? Manka. M-A-N-K-A. Like Sanka? Manka. What's up, Lance? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Lance. Lance. We also want to give a big birthday shout out to Ben Dixon. Happy mm. birthday to you, Ben. My man, Ben. Happy and birthday, Dick. our man, Tony B. Happy birthday, Tony B. Happy birthday, Tony. He's probably not watching, but... If he's out there, happy birthday. The vape team sends you happy birthday love. Uh, no, we cannot give you emails. because First of all, I don't even check my email. So you can send it for the next 20, 25 years, and I'm not going to check on, it. I think I got his email. Hold on. Uh, Sick Boy said, Brian is a hugger. I can attest that. I am a hugger. I'm a deep hugger. I, I like to feel closeness with people. And I think a, a nice, deep, vulnerable hug where you let your body actually touch another human and feel that closeness. I, I, there's a connection there. Right, Mike? Mm. <laughs> you can email Brian at Promise of Freedom. No, 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 no. Mark, please don't. If you need to talk. Mark. Or Mark. Say, if you're having family issues. Leo Barry, $2. Uh, Leo Barry, $2. First time head has actually touched that underwear. There you go. Hmm. If anybody wants uh, Brian or Mark's phone number, I'm going to be giving it away on my Patreon. There you go. Yeah, Should there's signed up. More the reason to join. There's no way Mark's penis head hits that underwear. There's no way. Uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's more like a curtain. Dude, your <laughs> penis is basically in a cocoon from your sack at all times. I could tuck it in my the pocket of my stomach. <laughs> it's like a I little. Walk outside naked, and no one even noticed. It looks like a little baby bird looking up. Well, your belly doesn't your belly like go right over it? <laughs> Does Angela like talk to it and say, "Come out, little fella, come on"? I gotta hold my stomach up if Angela wants to see it. Oh, there it is. You can see it. Yeah, I see it. Oh. Nice. It's sad. Uh, yeah. So if anybody wants to get hugs from Mark at an expo, Mark is usually quarantined in an area. He has a lot of social issues around people, and he charges for people to give him uh, hugs, touch him, talk to him. So, I am not sweaty. Why does someone say I'm sweaty? You look sweaty as fuck. Oh, it's I, I look sweaty. I'm dry. Look at me. I'm wet. Uh, somebody said that Rico three hundred ZX said that Mark tents when Brian hugs him. Do you tent, Mark? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, I used to in the very beginning, but not much anymore. Yep. Uh, why don't we move along to this little action that we got going on tonight? 
Ah. It's time for the Vape Team Live giveaways, babies. Let's do it. All right. So, first of all, we'd like to thank our sponsors. We'd like to thank Element Vape. ElementVape.com for all your vaping needs. And tonight we're going to be giving away a Snow Wolf M-Fang UX 200-watt TC box mod. A Snow Wolf M-Fang UX 200-watt box mod. And we're also going to be giving away her Horizon Falcon King mesh sub-ohm tank. So we're giving away one of each. Mark, get those numbers ready. If you win this giveaway, when Mark picks the numbers slowly, because he's looking for something right now, I don't know if he's looking for a pin to pin that to his head. I don't think we could do the giveaways yet. What are you? I don't know. We got Mark. Like, we got six hundred people watching. Mark, please, Mark, Mark, Mark. I'm. Don't don't. I'm an Egyptian. You don't even know what an Egyptian is, you fucking <laughs> moron. Come on. <sighs> All right, so we're going to be giving away a Horizon Falcon King Mesh sub ohm tank, and um, Mark's going to pick a winner. If you, win, if you win, you need to make sure that you contact Amy Relish at gmail.com. And uh, Chubbs just gave $5. He said, Mark's wiener looks like a lion head poking out of the bushes. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go with the X1s. Uh -huh. And Meth Mike's gonna pick the number. As it goes, oh, we're not doing like show number. Forty-five. 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 Here we go. Yeah. Four to the five. <laughs> we don't got a winner. Let's do it again. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. we got a winner. Super underscore Dave. Super Dave, congratulations, you son of a bitch. The King Dalai Lama is here to service you. Super Dave, contact AB Relish at gmail.com and she will send out your winning. Mark, mm -hmm. did they just did they need to say anything? Did Amy say anything? Do they need to say anything in their email to Amy? They need to say. I don't even know what they're winning. What are they winning? <laughs> oh, welcome to the show, Mark. You just oh, got it. Hey guys, did the show start? No, not yet. In a All few right. minutes. Let's get ready. I need to have a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. Uh, uh, tell Amy that you <laughs> you won the M-Fang giveaway, and uh, and she'll send it out to you. Name, address, telephone number, and email, or your email address is already going to be in there. Name, address, telephone number, and you need to be of legal vaping age wherever you live. Yeah, make so, sure you send your email address. Don't email them without your email address. Thank you. Uh, pick the number for the next giveaway, which is the Horizon Falcon King Mesh sub -ohm Tank. Here we go. Can I get a number, son? Who's picking it? I'll pick it. Okay. Do you want to pick it? Now, you know what? Let's have Meth Mike pick it. <laughs> <laughs> 33, you fucking <laughs> moron. 33 is Isabel Wood. Like, Wood Isabel? Isabel Wood. Isabel Wood, you need to contact Amy Relish at gmail.com. And uh, is it Amy Rel It's Amy Relish COO at gmail.com, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah, Amy, dude, I'm like space tonight, man. Amy Relish COO at gmail.com. Name, address, telephone number. And uh, yeah, dude, I had a long, long day at work today. Like crazy long. I didn't get home until like 7 o'clock tonight. So. Make it in dollars, baby. Dude, I'm telling you. Long day at work. <clears throat> Whoa, fly. It's on you right now. The fly? No, it's over there in the light. Uh, Chester Millionaire, $5. Mark needs to be taken out behind the shed and beaten with a rubber hose. Ooh. He would already like try that. Dude, Mark, what, what kind of getup we got going on there? I'm a sh Chicago cab driver. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, fucking... <laughs> you can't 
can't even drive a cab. <laughs> bad, bro. <laughs> what if you get beat up by Chicago cab drivers? Uh, I probably. And also, might is, might that be like insensitive? What you're doing right now? I don't know. No, uh, what they look like spammer. People are saying the a spammer one. Oh, was she a spammer? Yeah, that was one of the spammer oh, people. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's do it again. <clears throat> um, do we have any? Oh, even look at the comments. No, we didn't. What do you know? We didn't. Did you look at the comment? The me? Yeah. It oh, doesn't no. show the comment for me. Oh, okay, okay. Should we do it again or no? Yeah, same number, thirty-three. Thirty-three. It wasn't. It was thirty-three. Well, that was Meth Mike. He's not here right now. Yeah. Thirty-three from Meth Mike. We don't have a winner. Let's do it again. Thirty-three is average American vapor. Congratulations, you American bastard! You are the winner. Congratulations. Uh, you need to contact Amy Relish, COO at gmail.com and follow the instructions I gave earlier in the show and that I give every week for the past 207 shows. Thank you. Uh, Philip Lucky, he gave $8. He said, sorry, guys, rock, uh, sorry guys, rocking up late. Good to see you, Mike and Brian, and you squinty-eyed son of a bitch. Biatch. Brian need the address to send the chips to. There you go. I guess uh, he got chips. What, what did he get? What kind of chips? Hopefully it's not the One Chip Challenge chips. Oh, God, no. Mark, your ass is going to be bleeding all summer. Uh, underscore Oz says, I am a Chicago cab driver, you asshole. No. <laughs> yeah, he's going to get... That. Mark's going to have fucking cabs pulling up outside the trailer to kick his ass. Yep. Dude, Chicago cab drivers are the worst. That's all I'm saying. Do we have any Sikh fans out there watching the show that are completely offended by Mark's attire? Or maybe there's people out there that love it and think... Well, he's... you got to love it how he said he's being Egyptian. <laughs> yeah, he has no idea what he's... <laughs> What I gotta tell you, on? if he actually knew what he was talking about, it might be offensive, but he fucking doesn't know anything. Exactly. What What'd you say, a Sikh? Exactly. What the fuck is a Sikh? Exactly. So keep it that way, Mark. It's less, it's less fucked yep. up. I've never heard of a Sikh in my life, but anyways, thank you. Yep. Start my new cab service. Yeah. Mark will hire an Uber car and then take it to you to pick you up at his Uber. Yep. Uh, why are people saying that uh, that person's a spammer too? I think that person I've seen him before. I don't think he's a spammer. That person. What's uh, his name? Average Joe Vapes. Uh, no, it is of average American uh, vapor. Yeah, is he in chat? Uh, I would hope so. I just pulled the names. People are saying yeah. both names were spammers. Oh. Please comment, average American vapor. Don't comment, then we are going to read. Who, who won the first giveaway? Uh, I didn't. There you go. Average American vapors in chat. Yep. There you go. He's real. People are just real. butter. <laughs> People are Somebody said Mark looks like a fat Aladdin. There you go. <laughs> Call me Flatten. Uh, Aladdin. The saddest thing is, is that those are disgusting underpants on your head. These are, they smell delicious. There's nothing delicious about anything below your belly button. Uh, average Amer American Vapor just donated $1.99, so I don't think he's a troll. Trolls donate money now, sweet. Or a spammer. Yep. You didn't have to donate that, we knew it. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Oh, where are my sunglasses at? Uh, Adrian, I'm not sure what's a good bridge yet. I'm still waiting for all of mine to come. It's getting better and better, folks. This is going to be on the calendar, this one. Take your shirt off, Mark. F complete the deal. I might lose. <laughs> Gary <laughs> says... Uh, was it Gary? Wait, where'd that comment go? Fuck. So anyway, someone said that you look like a fat RuPaul. <laughs> oh, that was Bubba Smith. <laughs> Dude, Mark, you look so. You should be topless all the time. It just suits you. You've got a body that looks good with when you're topless. Oh, if I could wear my tits, I'd be. I wouldn't be bad looking. You have a very proportionate and evenly placed chest. Thank like you. both of your titties are perfectly shaped, and they really match each other. It's kind of creepy that you know this. Imagine if you had like one titty that was smaller than the other. You wouldn't be happy. You'd be insecure. But that yes. you have two luscious titties, it fits you. They are pretty nice. Yep. 
Mike, you can re- read that. <laughs> Strict nine. Mark's ding. Mark's ding looks like a bottom from a fur coat. A button. <laughs> Did it say button? <laughs> no, it says fur coat. Looks like a button from a fur coat. Yeah. Putan. I wish my tits didn't sag. If they didn't sag, they'd probably be nice. By the way, guys, it's 11 o'clock, so everything that happens from this point forward is just bonus material, and I've given up trying to do any agenda or anything else. We're just reading chat and hanging out. Look at Mark Holt. Oh, my God. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucked up. Is that 5G? 5G, son. 5G TT. 5G to the heart. John said Mark has a body for WWE. Thank you, Gregory. No, Mark has a body for Glow. <laughs> <laughs> the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. <laughs> wow. Oh, everybody wants the bra. Yep. I am not taking that bra down again. That is fixed. If Mark put a moo on right now, he'd look like a woman that just got out of the shower. I agree with Amy. Not Which, really a bonus. Yeah, it's not, it is not really a bonus. <sighs> no agenda needed. I agree. Shooty. Are we still live? Yeah, we're still live. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. I have I, no clue what's going on now. I got a fly on my head, that donut bottle. What the fuck? Hold on. Watch this. Watch. Fuck! Oh, that's fucking nasty looking fucking thing. Kill by it. the way, this didn't come with it, by the way. What are you trying to say? What should I do with it? Kill that fucking thing. Oh, fuck. Now watch, there's going to be a picture of you hold that bottle up with a fly. And someone's going to make a whatever. You know, if it was Mark, he would have said it came out of the bottle. Of yep. course he would have. I, I thought that to make a joke, but there's certain things you just don't joke about. Yeah, that's, <laughs> but that's something Mark would say. It's called self-control. I do not have that. Yep. Yep, there goes Charlie. Yep, see? Yep. The Thanks, fly was Mark. in the basement from my flop. I think he came in on my flip-flop. Uh, Big Red, wrong show. <laughs> What'd they say? Uh, about Batman being on tonight. Oh, yeah. I think Batman's on the rig, isn't he? That's uh, Sundays. I wonder if people seriously get this, the shows confused. They like, do. They have no really? clue. Yep. I know the vape team is kind of starting to turn into a Sunday show. Like tonight, I- we didn't talk about vaping at all, I don't think. I tried. Yeah, yeah but... try. Good job, Brian. Thanks, Mark. I wonder if I can call someone. <laughs> on Sorry. Speakerphone. Sorry for interrupting the vape talk, Mike. <laughs> Mocha vapes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good comment. Oh no. Uh, Joseph Searle, two dollars. Love this show. Thank you very much for the donation. <laughs> yeah. Who are you calling, Angela? She won't answer the dick. <clears throat> she doesn't call her. <sighs> you think she'd have role play sex with you in that character that you are right now? Uh, Keith Rasmussen oh. says that we missed his super chat. Did we? Did we? What was it? I don't know. I'm scrolling back to see if I can find it. I love this show from Joseph Cirilli. Cirilli? I don't see one. What was his name? No. We already read that one. Oh. Well, if he posts a comment in chat, if we really did miss it, we can read it. I didn't see it. Yeah, there's a lot of people out there that don't have half the amount of confidence the Mark has watching the show. You gotta give Mark some love for his fearless confidence. 
We got a call. There we go. Let's answer it. Hello. What? I'm just testing out my new phone holder. See if it works. You hear me okay? <laughs> yeah, just fine. It's hands free. We're live, by the way. You want to say hi to everybody? Hi, everybody. Hi, Angela. Why hi. couldn't you take my call? Because I was taking a piss. <laughs> it's, it's side boob talking to under boob. Ew, you're taking a pee? Yep. You want to tell people while we're live how you don't believe in wiping when you pee? I wipe when I pee. You don't wipe when you poop. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you for calling. Bye, bye. Yeah, and it. if you only knew what he had in his head. Yep. That's why he's a shithead. There we go, yeah. folks. Dude, there's a lot of women, I guarantee you, in chat that can use, that either probably do this. Like they want to do their hair, they're doing their makeup. No, they, they to, don't, oh, Mark, because oh. that's how you get breast cancer. I'm guaranteed they do it. You're going to have to get checked now. <laughs> I'm telling you. I love the women that are at the store that pulled their money out of the bra. That's oh, the best, and it's all wet. Could you keep crazy pills under there? Hmm. No, they might dissolve. <laughs> it's kind of warm underneath there. Oh, man. I can put my goddamn shirt. I feel like I'm... You feel vulnerable now? Yes. Yep. Rush, rush. I'd be into you until I finished, and then I'd look over and be like, what did I do? Yep. I'm with you on that one. Yep. <clears throat> Super chat is censoring some words. Ah, uh, there you go. That's probably why we didn't see it. Is that what happened? Maybe. So they took his money and they censored him? You censored uh, him. Kevin Rasmussen just commented, it was stolen later. I seen Mark Sweener when he took off his undies. Looks like a button on a fur coat. Ooh. Mike read uh, that. We well, already read that, Kevin. We yeah, read Mike, your comment. Mike read that. Yep. What's up, Lynn Smith? You are a little late because we're ending the show in about three minutes. Thank you, Lynn. Yep. The... Ooh. Yep. Report Mark, did you keep your smokes there? Uh, yes, I did, actually. You no, kept actually, his lighter under... When I would smoke, I actually didn't have titties. I was pretty in shape. Yeah, those are big. Fagan's cup size is a B minus. <laughs> Yo, we should take him, Mike, on a, with a vlog, and we should get a, a uh, bra fitting done. That Just, would be funny as hell. Do you want to do a bra fitting, Mark? Would you do that? I would do that. Yep. Uh, over drip rip, I do not have that. YouTube is censoring. Too, they censor. Look, Amy and I are so connected on a deep, fundamental level. She said, next week, Mark goes to VS to get measured for a bra. Victoria's Secret, I'd love to go to get measured. Yep. And Mark looks like a Sikh rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Sikhi. What? Okay, I'm, looking, I'm Googling this. What, Sikh? Sikh. Make he, sure you spell it correctly. He doesn't know how to spell it. What? Is S I K? He doesn't even know how to spell seek as an S E A K. Yep, G D snuff or S E E K. Mark, do you keep a tampon under the breast? I do not. They're usually pretty dry, but sometimes they get a little moist. Seeky or Sikhism or whatever, meaning a something seeker or learner is a. He something spelled, he related. spelled it. Wow. I K H. I spelled it how they spelled it in chat. GD stuff, $2. Mark, do you keep a tampon under the breast? <laughs> Mike just... Dispre- <laughs> I don't wear tampons. Pads. What brand of batteries do you all use the most? I use my Sony VTC5A. Still. Yeah, Sony, Samsung. Did I miss the giveaway? Actually, Bachelor, you won. Congratulations. Yep. Uh, contact Brian at, at vapenfagan at gmail.com. That's the email for the giveaway. Yep, and he'll send it right out in like three weeks. Uh, Big Red, the pure the Purge Viper I got that I actually bought from NVE is still in the box. I haven't even used it. Actually, I used it for like three pulls from an RDA, then I took it apart put it back in the box. Still sitting right here on the floor. Which walker? Oh, that, yeah. I didn't even use mine. It's so fucking heavy. 
Like it's big and heavy. I don't know why I bought let's, it. Let's take it out of the box. Let's check it out. Look at that, huh? Wait, what? Which purge mod is that? It's a twenty-one seven hundred, the Viper. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm on a totally different planet. I think it's got like a twenty-eight millimeter top. Mm. Let's see. Put the bulk on there. Look at that, huh? Be nice if the bulk was hybrid safe. That'd be perfect. Oh, it's so, not, right? Nope. Do not use the bulk on a hybrid. Please. Son of a bitch. No, so I'll probably give it away. What 21700 batteries do you guys recommend? I use the... I don't know what, which ones they are. The, the gray ones. 30Ts or 40Ts, right? 30T, I think it is. Samsung 30Ts. Hello. And the other, I like the Molly style. still good. How come you don't have Mike Vape's website as a paid sponsor? Or Mike Vape's website as a sponsor when you did the review on the Recurve Duel? Honestly, to be completely honest, I didn't even really think he, about his website. He's a hater, that's why. Yep. I didn't. But if you look in the video, I pinned the comment and made the comment the favorite of the person that recommended Mike Vape's website. He's a hater. You think I keep track of all these websites? Meanwhile, when I was in the UK, I made sure reviewers got the bulk in their hands. I went out of my way. Here we go. Dude, out I out of my way for this guy. For like three hours, Mike and walked he around. He wouldn't even plug my site in his review. Yep. And to top missed, it all off, the mod I bought him, he threw in the garbage. Yep. I missed one website one time, and I'll never hear the end of it now. How are those? Uh, never mind. Thank you. I was gonna say something, but I'm not. I don't want to. I don't want to re-injure old wounds and open them up again. Here we go. Ooh, there, there are wounds, though. That's all I'm gonna say. Da, 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 da. What did I what did I do wrong tonight to get to, to get all these links? Did I unclick something or click something? There's I don't know, but I noticed it happened in my thing. There's a setting in, in settings where you can allow clickable links in chat and it must gotta, be disabled. You gotta disable it. Or you I, gotta enable it. So but it's people... never happened in like two hundred and something shows, so why is it I happening know. all of a sudden? Because this this is the Mark brought these spammers here from his channel. Oh, uh, did he? Yeah. Actually, they're paying me, and I guess paying you too, but we're supposed to play off like we don't know what's going on. That was part of the agreement. Uh, now, you can advertise on our show, but we're going to pretend like we don't know what's going on. Uh, Mark, do you want to read that uh, donation? Oh, Mark, by the way, his underwear on his head is Thank very you, Scott fitting. Franklin. Thank you. Go ahead. Because he has a lot of crappy ideas. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa That's there, Kevin. True. That's true, Kevin. Rasa Mamusa Kanasa? Take it easy. Mike, what did Scott Franklin say? He was the one that actually made that comment that got pinned in Mark's channel. There you go. Yep. Uh, best pod system, top fill. First time here? The, the what do you call it? Caliburn. Uh, why the hell are they spamming? Don't know. $2 donation from Joseph. Have you guys seen the damn Vape Doom RTA mesh tank? Nope. Nope. I did get. What did I get? You got the dark mesh. Oh, that's what it is? Okay. Yep. That's uh, a <laughs> mesh, how... mesh sub on tank from Afghan. I love how Mike knows what Mark gets. <laughs> Where did I put it at, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. probably, it's next to the it's next to the nomads mod. There we go. The vape team nomads mod. It's probably right next to it. In the garbage, son of a Dude, twenty bucks says every fucking uh, every stocking this Christmas on, on, on near Mark's fake electric fireplace is, is gonna have bulks in it. <laughs> There's no question. Yep. Gary Schroth says, "Why forty T for regulated battery life or something? Yeah, battery life. You're gonna get ba better battery life with a forty T for regulated." It's not recommended if you're going to build lowish. 
on a mech with a 40T, unless you're building like a point two resistance on a mech, then yeah, use a 40T. Yep. I have both in my rotation. The coils for this dark mesh are gigantic. Dude, the Valerian. You're going to love the Valerian. Yeah? Yeah, Valerian too. The coils are badass. That mod looks awesome. Fucking coils are jumbo. Yep. And the coils for the Valerian are, again, like, I think UL does this. They underrate their coils. Like, these are 100-watt coils, and I'm hitting it. I've been hitting it at 110. No problem. No issues. I don't go higher. I think tomorrow I'm going to raise it. I'll be doing I'll go at 120. I prefer companies to underrate them like that, so that way you don't end up fucking going too crazy. I mean, this is all cool and everything, <clears throat> but uh, for me, UL, this is... Where it's at, this mod. Does that does that have a satisfying click to it? Yeah. Yeah, I love the fire button. It's just like a mod's fire button that click sound. I don't know if you can hear it. Listen. Yep. Yep. Uh, it sounds stiff. No, it's not stiff. No. Oh, I show you stiff. Beautiful, bro. I I'm in love with the fire button on here. I like the mod. The mod and it hit, awesome. and it, it hits really nice. Oh. There you go. Point, you will, point you one three. Beautiful. And it's protect. This is perfect for someone that wants that mech experience. Yeah. This is the closest you're going to come to a mechanical mod and it and not being safety. a mechanical mod. What does the 510 look like? Check this out. La da da da. La da da da. We like to party. There's the white. Ooh, that looks fucking sweet. Yep. Look at that. That's nice and safe. That's yeah. real nice. And right now it's in 18650 mode. To put it in 21700 mode, you unscrew the top. See the bottom? It's flush. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's in 18650 mode. You can fire it. Now what you do is you unscrew the bottom, reverse it to the other side, and that one's fully screwed. See the way I just extended it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. That's wow. what I was trying to say. This is they, that's some innovative innovation. shit. That is innovation. It's innovation. The whole thing is all innovation. Now it's twenty one seven hundred mode. Wow. No yeah. sleeve or nothing. That's, wow. That's fucking awesome. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Very impressed with this. Wow. When I first saw it, I was like, ah, it's a cheesy tube mod from them. But then I <laughs> dug in. <laughs> Dude. That's all right. Okay. Yeah, then I dug into it, just playing, messing around with it. I read the read the manual, something that Mark doesn't know how to do. Yeah, he doesn't. He wouldn't even know it does twenty one seven hundred. No, I, I wouldn't like, even known that until Mike showed me that. Yep. The, the cap. That is a really good idea, man. Yeah, idea. and here's their other color. I'm not sure how many in total they're making, but they sent me the the white, and there's the black. That looks sexy too. That white one, looks sweet. You know the yeah, price, I, you know what the price point's gonna be? No. I busted out the white. I was gonna use the white one, and then when I I actually got it all running, I was using the white one, and then I'm like, let me open up the other two. I'm like, I thought the fluorescent was gonna be like a rainbow bright one, until I saw this, and I was like, oh shit, I like the way that looks. It was pretty cool. It is nice. What's it called, Mike? Again? Uh, Soul Keeper. I mean, knowing UL is going to be pretty affordable. Yeah, go on to myul.com. And then subtract like $15 from their price because they always exactly have it listed really high. This this actually comes from their independent research and development. Yeah, they put a lot of, they put a lot, this is not something they just slough together. They put a lot of thought into making this. I appreciate when a company does that. They put a lot of thought into something. So it works with a single 18650, 2700, and 21700 battery. LED indicator indicates the remaining capacity of the battery. The main circuit adopts an electrical switch, which eliminates the arcing mark caused by repeated contact between the button and the negative electrode of the battery. The bottom button feels more comfortable than ordinary mechanical buttons. Uh, it says... The new control panel was made with their independent research and development with multiple protection features, making the tube safer to use. Max 110 watts is what Mike said earlier, and yep. that's what it is. What is it? Does it say minimal resistance? Mm. I, couldn't, I can't remember what I saw. 
I don't see that. For people that want size, it's 25.6 millimeters by 93.5 millimeters. Ooh, nice. Oh. I mean, I'll take another mech. Uh, there's like the Overlord side by side. Hmm. Remember, these are right now both in 21700 mode. And look how much, just a little bit taller. And this got circuitry going on. It's got stuff going on inside. That's that's crazy. It is sweet. Really fucking awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I can't believe the switching of the top and the bottom to make it 21700 versus 18650. That's... Yeah, someone, someone said that Grim had a uh, .08 on it. Earlier, yeah. Oh, God, please don't. Another ambitions? Or? I mean, they could do a. They're doing a point oh eight, but the maximum. It's not going to give them. Let's say the maximum wattage you're going to get is one hundred and ten watts. Yep. On it, dude. But for the most, the way that most people vape, that's going to be more than enough. Yeah. No, it is. That's like my sweet spot. It's right in my sweet spot because the what do you call it, the recurve? Where, what did I have it on before? Where's the boxer? <clears throat> Where's my boxer? Oh, here it is. There you go. I was vaping it on the boxer at 105 watts. Yep. So it's right there. And what I like is that they didn't. I don't know if they did, but I'm assuming they didn't. They didn't put a micro USB port on it, right? No. Thank God. No, if they did, it would have been taller. Yeah. Well, this, this is one... supposed to give you that mech experience. <laughs> so, people that are afraid to use mechs. Somebody said make it stackable. It's a 200-watt 200, 200 device when you stack it. Who made this one again? That's, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Inigan. Inigan, okay. Yeah. Sweet. Inigan's yeah. always had quality stuff. Always. Nope. Yeah, you will, but... but been putting out good shit lately. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Uh, Christian Cosgrave said it's more unregulated, to be honest. Yeah, it's an unregulated. Yeah. yeah. I think there's definitely a market for something like that, though. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, for the you know people many... that want that to, that mech experience but don't want to... You know how many times I, I'll do a mech review and in the comments you get so many people saying, oh, that looks so cool, but like you said, Mike, in the video, if for a beginner... Like myself, it's not good. They would say, yeah. you know, there's a lot of people that want to and they're afraid. This is perfect for them, you know, to get comfortable with one and maybe in the future when they get experience, then they can jump into a mechanical mod yep. if they want to, you know. Yep. Really cool. Yeah, Dane, I I had checked on the manual and I couldn't remember if I did. That's why if, if I had seen it on it, I would have remembered the resistance. To, you're right. Not even the manual was in it. I'll find out. I'm going to message you all to find out what the minimum is. 110 watts is good enough for me. Yeah. Thank you so much for what you do because without you guys, I don't know if I could have fully made the jump to vaping. It says Gary... Schroth. Thank you, Gary. Nope. Uh, someone said Ambitions has a 120 watt tube. That's oh, David. Uh, so that uh, 120 watt tube coming out, but it's not a tube though. It's more like the SX ML class. It's got the the side board. It's, it's, it's got the chip on the side. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a chip on the side. How like how is it all decided? I'm not trying to start to kind of hate or anything, but. Like, how does he have all this shit dropping, like, at one time from all these different companies? I don't want to start any shit, but here's a shovel full of shit. I mean, well, he has that tank coming out, he has a mod coming out, and then doesn't he have an RDA coming out, too, or no? I'll RTA. tell you something. I'll t I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, this is what I'm going to say, and I'm not trying to start trouble or anything. I'm just going by my own experience, and I'm sure Brian could vouch on this one, too. It's gonna, I know he's going to say the same thing. You know how hard it is to work on more than one project at one time yeah it is difficult and, and do the other shit you do in your life it is hard just to do one product not to release four yep take a drink in my opinion 
I think someone might be trying to cash out. I don't know. It's just me. Well, you know what? In all fairness, he said in the video that he had nothing to do with the design. The only uh, wait, reason wait a his minute. Name, this is not, his name is not because he designed the color of it. So you're telling me that I can... I, <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. That's what he says. He, so he you're fucking telling me that I can tell the company what color to make something and then my name gets on oh, it? And also, he said that uh, it should be, instead of 100 watts, make it 120. Oh, so he actually went and engineered all the settings on the board and, and figured out the mathematics behind no, it? No, to no, make, he told them to, to make do it. To make an 8-volt device go up to 120 watts with a single battery? Uh, That's a mental gymnastics right there, son. Yeah, I think I think someone's cashing out. Hmm. By the way, I, I don't want. <sighs> it's probably people pissed that we're even talking about it. Why are you guys talking about that? You shouldn't be saying that about him. You guys are haters. We're just speaking logically. No, I was just like I said. I was just curious. He has all these projects dropping at one time. I found it kind of weird. Like, <sighs> anywho, now his mech, the mech. I actually like this. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty mech. cool. Yeah, that's his mech. Yeah, it looks nice. It's the Deja Vu mech in twenty one seven hundred form. And I just got this today. Hold on, let me grab it. I got it right here. What's up, Moxley? <clears throat> I'm actually gonna review his mech. I'm doing a video for his mech. And they actually sent me a second one. They wanted me to wait for the review. Actually, uh, oh, that's that. nice. That's mm. not bad looking, actually. Yeah. Some resin. And stack section in resin. Oh, wow. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. That looks cool. I like this one better than the net. I like the way that looks. Yeah, it looks sexy. Yeah. This is what he should have re released it. If he would have released it like this with different font... There'd be no problems. Nobody would say nothing, whatever. Instead of making something look identical to that. Well, it's got the same exact font. Whatever. Wish, wish, I have enough, come to me. Fresh. In the end, though, people that are not connected with YouTube and reviews and the community and stuff like that, they just want to buy products. They don't. Yeah, give a, a lot fuck. of people don't. They don't care give a. They that. don't give a fuck who the Vapor Chronicles or Mike Vapes or Vaping Fagan. No. They just want quality products that they enjoy. So for those people, I hope they enjoy what they buy. It is what. It but is. having these live shows, you sort of get an inside look and a window into what goes on a little bit behind the yep. scenes, and that's just the way it is. Because then if we don't talk about something, and people get pissed. I want to feel you inside of me. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Rush. Oh, that's true, Dane. That's true. You know how many emails I've gotten from companies? And the funny part is one of them was the artery vapor. Oh, they sent me a picture of a mod. As a matter of fact, no, oh, actually, whoa, that mo wow, I could find that email. I have the email. Ambitions mod, that mod, the one that looks like the SX, the Yeehee one, they messaged me four or five months ago to put my name on that. And what I did swear you, to God. And what did you say? I said no. Here, I got the email. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up right now. Let me find it. So, my thing is this: Is it okay if someone puts their name on something as long as they tell people, "Hey, I had nothing to do with it. I'm just putting my name on it," or is it shitty regardless? Like, I'm I'm curious. It depends I'm on what it means to you. If it doesn't matter to you, then it doesn't matter. To me, it matters. You know what I mean? But it's a personal decision you have to okay. make. Okay. Here it is. Uh, let me find the date. Was December 4th of 2018. I ain't lying. There it is. Mike Vapes and EH Pro Project Cooperation. What is that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, wait a minute. Zoom in on that. Dude. 
Yes, yeah, so fuck that shit. Fuck that. So they're just searching for a name to, to get it out there. Well, this is not a fake. Look at the date on top. That's December great. 4th, 2018. What does it say? Mike Vapes and EH Pro Project Cooperation <sighs> Invitation. We have prototype already. I, I don't lie. For all you fucking haters out there that think I make up shit and lie, I don't lie. That that project right there, that when I saw that mod, I was like, that looks pretty sick. And I could have easily been that guy to say, you know what, yeah. Let's let's do something, put my name on it. My name ain't on it. Fucked up, right? Wow. Yes. Hey, you know what? He's probably, if he finds out, he's going to be pissed that I showed that. I'll tell you the truth, I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot, because the way the conversation was just going, and Art of, I'm like, wait a minute, Art of Vapor, they did message me one time to put something, my name on it. And that's a, they're not the only company. I've gotten plenty of people that message me. Oh, look, I have this prototype. You want to check it out? Maybe we do collaboration and put your name on it? I'm like, nah. That's not the way it works. I wouldn't feel as bad if the company had one particular reviewer in mind, but to go down a list of people emailing every reviewer and going with the one that said yes, that kind of bothers me. I'm speechless. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me tell you, okay, so from from a, a cash standpoint, right, if I saw that device, I'd say, wow, that looks really sexy. Imagine how easy it would be just to say yes. I mean, all the, the I mean, I have shit that I'm designing, right, that I've spent, I spent four hours just yesterday in a Zoom room just in one fucking day going over design changes, yeah. upgrades, and, and and that's just one day. That's probably the 50th day that I've sat in a room and gone over stuff consistently. That shit makes me so fucking mad because for me personally, it's not okay. I'm mad because it means something when you put your name on something that you actually are bringing something forward in the industry that's going to that's gonna make change. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. So... No, no, that's true, David. He said he didn't design it, but remember, he said he said he got one that had like a brass and a stainless steel, and he changed the color. But if you look at that, the pictures, those look dope. You know what I'm saying? It's he I did would, say it. I'd be, but yeah, he did say that he didn't. He was straightforward. I mean, but I'm just letting you guys know. I get these messages too. I could have easily slapped my name on that. That looks sexy as fuck. Now but I it, won't do it. Integrity. Thank you, Michael. Now, if he didn't, if he didn't act like it was his idea that he went to them with the idea with the design, and he actually said it in his video, then whatever. Yeah, I, I got to give him credit for doing that. But for me, I wouldn't want that. You know, because it's not his. How is that his? Yep. I had a company message me. I'm not going to say the company uh, to do a collaboration on a mod, and they showed me the mod. And I said, I said to them, I said to them, no, I cannot do that mod. I actually took the mod and changed the whole design on it. But it's their chip. It's going in the spot that they wanted to choose. I changed the design on it. I changed the fire button on it. You know, to make. But I'm still waiting for the prototype to see if I'm going to go through with it. But I wasn't going to pick their body style because if I'm going to be in collaboration with you, I have to be able to choose and design my own body style for that mod. You know? I'm not even mm -hmm. sure if that's going to even happen. We'll see. Mm -hmm. There's a big comment the review there, Mr. Hmm. Oh, Charlie. Charlie, you got to message me. Give me a heads up on that one. I need to know. What's up with that? Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. What? What? What is it? Charlie, what he's talking about? Do you know what he's talking about? Is he talking about the 
RDA that has a super e easy coil placement? Or no? I have no clue. I have no clue either. Uh, thank you, Ben. I did design the bulk. Top to bottom. Oh, wait. People are saying, what? David? Oh, my. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Read Stephen Garlington. On his Instagram post for the RDA, he told people they can use... Next mesh 0.2 strips would be 0 0.06. He's also telling people it's great on a Mac. Oh my God, it's an accident waiting to happen. And what he's talking about is uh, Ambition's new dual coil, dual mesh RDA. So he's advertising a 0.06 to do on that. If he is that stupid, then he needs to stop doing what he's doing before someone gets hurt and actually takes his advice. Mike, would you put your name on the Soul Keeper if you will ask to? No, because well, what am I going to change? I'm not going to change the body style on this. This is perfect the way they did it. They did a good job on this. What am I going to change? The color? You know? It's just like it's just like the picture I just showed you of the mod, the Marguerite Vapor. I could that mod looks beautiful, looks cool. What would I change on it? I just I told him straight out, I, I can't. I can't put my name on it. There's nothing I could do to change it, put my name on it. What, the color? Or change that could do 120 watts? That's just me. That's me. I don't know what other, what other people do. That's up to them. Whatever. T Integrity? Integrity Farms donation. When will we see Fagan and Smoke Mod? <laughs> Never. They are sending me the TFV 16, which is, oh my God, 16? They're on 16 already? TFV 4, TFV 8, TFV 12. I got the email from Smoke about a TFV, TF 16. Yeah, it holds like so, nine mils of juice. <laughs> so 16. Now we knew 12 was 12 wires. So are they putting 16 in a coil? Dude, if they are, that is And this is going to be a it's got to be a big sub ohm tank. It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. Yeah. Like 40 millimeters. Dude, that's fucking crazy. The only thing I was thinking was they're going to put what? Six coils, six inside there. With what? Can you do six, six what, 18? No. No, that would be 12 if you were to do them as parallels. So it's I don't know what they're doing. Eight coils parallel? Could be. Mm. I'm trying to cut down on vapor, and they're putting out tanks that are holy shit. It's 32 millimeter by 51 millimeter. Nine mLs of juice. Oh, my God. That's going to be fucking huge for some. Yeah, they're making a massive coil. Coil It's going to be eight. Watch, it's going to be eight coils parallel inside. Too there. big. Yeah. Why? People like it big, I guess. I love it big. Dude, I've been enjoying this all week with just 12 milligrams in it and just, like, taking it everywhere. Why are people saying Vic in chat? Uh, what is your project with Vupu coming? I do not have a Vupu project chest here, but if I if they were to approach me, I would have no problem selling out the Vupu. Thank you. Uh, We'd call Gary the... wants to know what is this? What is what? This. This is it. This is what the is this? this is the after show after show. I want to know. Yeah. DC, you could fucking suck them. <laughs> You fucking cross-eyed bitch. I'll hop through this screen and I will slap you. Thick and juicy. Best 12 milligram. Nice. <clears throat> I'm a, I got the Nilakil in here. I'm trying to cut back a little bit on my vapor intake. Now, if you think about it, who would want a 16 regular coil when mesh is like the end thing for sub ohm tanks? What if it's 16 
well, it can't be it can't be the mesh, but what if they do something weird with like parallel mesh coils, like eight of them somehow, like just some weird, crazy shit, which I know it's not the case, but we'll have to I'm, wait to see. Yeah, I'm curious. Mark's, uh, Mark's just spitballing. Jesse B uh, wants to know about a matte black recurve duel. Maybe we'll see. Ding. Douglas Ding. Roach just wanted to thank y'all. I was down for a couple. I was I was down to a couple six day. Finally made the jump, and today is one week sig free and eight years off heroin. Thank you. Awesome. Congratulations, Douglas. Man, it must feel amazing. Congratulations. Oh, Shane Oakley saying that people will question Vic because of the Kelpie, because AV. Because of what AV did, since it's EH Pro, also, well, artery vapor is EH Pro. Nah, I don't. I don't think he I would, would take a chance to do I that. I wouldn't suspect Vic of doing anything like that. Yeah. In the end, if it gets people off of the uh, the SIGs and they enjoy the products, that's all that really matters on the bigger picture. Yeah. But on this small little vape community type stuff, you know, it keeps people talking, keeps people entertained. And yeah. uh, some people enjoy hearing the behind the scenes stuff. Yep. You know, uh, someone wants to know about the Valerian two coils, if they'll work in the first one. I'm not sure. I have to dig up and find that Valerian. My old Valerian. I got to look for it. Uh, no, no of, <clears throat> no of. No, a Valerian coil will not interchange with other Valerian tanks. Someone's saying they won't in chat. You can, you can what else did I? Oh, I got this other thing too. Another pod system. Oh my god. Oh, wait. I think this is the one you got. Is this the one you got? The hell is that? Is it a little thumb drive you got or no? Yeah, it's no, a little... man. I got the. Mine is the one from the. This is a uh, Vandy Vapes off brand called Finesse. Oh, this looks. Hold on, let me see. This looks just like it from the picture. I think they're all starting to look a lot alike, to be honest with you. Oh, no, this one's a little bit bigger. My bad. Yeah, this is the tiny. I mean, to give you an example of uh, how big this is, uh, put it next to the Orion. Do I have an Orion here? Where are my Orions? Anyway, I'll put it next to the Geek Vape Frenzy. Yeah, that's definitely smaller than this thing. Yeah. Just the picture looked. Uh... Or something that a lot of people have. We have the Nord. Uh, Charlie just donated $5, gentlemen. He said, real talk, I respect you three men a lot and consider you friends. Y'all do it right. Much respect for that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Charlie. Make Thanks, sure you Charlie. message me. Let me know who you were talking about. Thank you. Charlie doesn't swallow, by the way. Just putting it out there. I know that, actually, personally. Oh, okay. Just making yeah. sure you guys knew that. He gargles with it and then spits. But he tries to do it at least so you don't know. Ooh, I just found out. Uh-oh. Here we go. I ain't saying nothing. Charlie, message me. I'll say it. <laughs> Leo Barry, $5, trying to set up a vendor account with Mark <laughs> Marcus for bulks, but his price <laughs> is too high. Can you help me out, Mark? Mark, uh, are you having your son handle this? Contact Marcus on his PlayStation account. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too much. <laughs> you can you can find him in Fortnite late night tonight. There's a coupon code on Element Vape. It's like Marcus ten. He's ten percent off the bulk. Isn't his Fortnite screen name Bulks for Cheap? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Bulks for Kids. Dude, I sent Mark a message. What did I send you, Mark? Did you even respond to it? When was it? Oh, you know what? I did send it. I, you know, and this is why I, I sometimes am a little cautious with the shit that I send because I'm afraid that if, if the wrong person, like say the government is watching oh my our messages, right? And they collect data. You're one of those people. I, I'm just, you know, you never know. And something catches up to you like fucking later on. And The but government I, has much better things to do than to listen to our text messages. I right? had this amazing message that I was going to send Mark and it was all about like, it was all about middle school and fucking Mark and Marcus and everything. It was, but I can imagine. Yeah, I deleted it. Fuck. But Easdell, <sighs> is like so behind that he's he was spamming links in here earlier, but Greg banned him. <laughs> he's up to the giveaway part. 
Damn, he's going to fast forward that shit. Uh, Big Red Vapor Channel said, Brian probably remember me. He asked me to show him some jujitsu. Anytime you want to learn, Brian, I'll do free lessons for you. I'm eight hours drive from you. My sis lives in Wilmington, Delaware. There you go. Yeah, I'd love to do some jujitsu. Get my stretch on. Get my fucking tap out on. Oh, check it. Black, Black Nick Nika. So S, is this a is this a two hour show now? Cool. But if you look at his picture, it's fucking Mark with the sunglasses and the afro. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> notice that. All right, gentlemen. Uh, we're not going to have a show next week because we went forty five minutes over. <laughs> so <laughs> there's no show next week. No, you guys better get your stomachs in order. You better take some Gaviscon or whatever the fuck you do and some gas X because it is the toe of Satan next week on the show. It's not vape-related, but it's going to be fucking hilarious because I hear this shit is the hottest shit on planet Earth. Like, super fucking painful hot. The thing I'm concerned about the most is that it's not the, the heat that happens initially. Like, say we get three minutes in, four minutes in. It's how long will the heat stay around and will we be able to even do a show once the heat hits? We won't. Yeah. So we're going to have to do it toward the end of the show. And then yeah. those that want to watch us do non-vape-related suffering, we can do that. Yeah. Marijuana has been legalized for, what is it called? Recreational use in Chicago, Illinois. So the channel might be leaning towards me smoking weed the whole time. No, that's not going to happen. Dude, no, you can't weed. smoke weed. You can't even get by in life without smoking weed. Imagine if you started smoking. You'd be paranoid. You'd they end up like... Eliminate, they try to eliminate vaping, but yet they legalize fucking pot for recreational use in Illinois. Oh, get out of town. Mark, I mean, they, Mark will be outside checking the air on the tires on the trailer like every five minutes thinking it's low. Dude, Mark is going to be out front selling bags. <laughs> yeah. Like, this shit's legal, bitch. I got dime bags. I got fucking AIDS. Amy Relish, if you're watching the show... Amy, is Amy still watching? Probably not. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll message her after the show. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Same vape time, same vape channel. Next Thursday night, the vape team, and we are out. Peace. Nothing but love, everybody. Bye, motherfuckers. 20-minute outro begins now. <laughs> Actually, the toe of Satan is Brian's going to shave off a piece of skin from his foot. We're going to eat it. <laughs> Look, the foot of Satan. I couldn't believe I fucking... It just hit me right there that I had gotten a message for that mod. Yep. Put my name on it. It didn't even click to me that that was the mod. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. These companies, I can't believe they sent out mass messages like that and show what the product is. Fucking crazy. Check your messenger. There's a million messengers. There's Facebook. There's AOL. Wow, there's, wow. There's Skype. Which messenger? Email me. Vape and Fagan at gmail.com. If you want to get my attention, you know what kind of photos I like. Yes, relax. Have yourself a drink. Mmm. Douche. <laughs> Douche.